Hey guys, Ashra here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can force your Friday Night Funkin' song into windowed, like Paranoia from Mario's Madness, and um, Mario Party DS, or No Party rather. So this is going to be done in LUA, um, because I know some people are not confident with using hakes, and I must say hakes can be very complicated to use. And so for ease of access we're going to be using we're going to be using LUA for this. Um, so pretty much I'm going to be going over two ways we can use it. Um, I'm going to be using it so it does it at the start of the song or and calls it as an event. So for example, if you want it to, I don't know, window itself halfway through the song. So for this, the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is go to your Psych Engine folder Go to your mods, your mod, and then into custom events. Um, for this video, I'm going to be using um, Paranoia from Mario's Madness as an example. So the first thing you're going to want to do is right click, new, create a text document. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rename it to whatever you want. I'm just going to call this force window dot lua so first of all you're going to want to make sure you put dot lua and also for this what you want in in view you're going to want to have show and then on show have file name extensions checked this will allow you to edit the file names of your files and then we're going to also go ahead make a text document call it exactly the same this will be so it shows up in our editor Right, next what we're going to do is we are simply going to go to our Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio or whatever you use. I recommend Visual Studio Code as it's simply just a one click install and also a lot easier to use if you're not using Psych Engine Code. So we're going to go to our custom events by here. We're going to get both the files and we're going to port them in. We're going to open. If that pops up, press open, otherwise you will not be able to use autofill on different um, on different files. So what we're going to want to do first is we are simply just going to write a little description. Forces, forces game into windowed mode. Okay. And then what we're going to do is you can comment it if you want. I don't want to. So I'm just going to do that so it looks nicer. So first we're going to do at the start of the song. So we're going to go ahead and type on create post because this works after initializing all the LUA scripts. So right as soon as you get past or the minute it lo actually loads itself in, it will call this function no matter where you put it on the chart editor. So then we're going to type in set property from class. Then we're going to get rid of this by here. In the first bracket, we're going to type in open FL dot capital L I B. And then in the second window, we're going to type in application. If I can spell application dot window dot full screen. And then type after the second comma, false. Now, I don't know if you need a, I don't know if you actually really need a semicolon at the end. But what I saw in my testing is that if you don't have the semicolon, it seemingly doesn't work. So what we're going to do here is now that we've got the base code. We're going to go ahead and save, and I'm going to show you the effects of it working on start. So we're going to go back to our custom events folder. We're going to go to the bin. We're going to open up Psych Engine. We're going to turn the volume down first of all. Um, I'm also going to have another video out if you guys like this one on how you can change the what's it called, the window title, where it says Friday Night Funkin' Psych Engine. So, which, so obviously, um, for testing purposes, rather, not options, for testing purposes, because uh, I, I was recording the other day, I switched uh, my mod folder off. So, um, let me just quickly go ahead and switch it on. 
then we're going to go into free play, we're going to go down to paranoia, and we're going to press enter, which will load up the song for us. Three, two, one, go! Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and open this. Um, we're going to go to song. Um, okay, so at the moment, uh, my script for the title isn't working because there is no title script in this folder specifically. But anyway, for this, what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to go down to um, our events. We're going to click on event. We're going to click on force window. We're going to go ahead and put it there. You don't need to set any values whatsoever. And now we're just going to quickly go. Um, so if I false, if I rather, yeah. So I can sh truly show you guys the effect because um, sometimes it gets really weird when I try editing on um, this. So we're going to go to our psych engine. Um, basically just go through and obviously go ahead and save the data for your song. And then just press enter like that. Three, two, one, go! Okay, we're just going to quickly go ahead and select exit to menu. We're going to go back one. We're going to go ahead and press... We're going to go ahead and full screen the game so we can get into Paranoia like this. Then we're going to press enter onto Paranoia. And if we've done it right, Three, two, as you can one, see... Go. I haven't touched this whatsoever. It has forced us into windowed. Now... This will do it at the start of the song. Um, if you now, however, if you want to, for example, have it as a mid-song event since you're doing gimmicks, really simple. All you need to do is, all, you, all we would need to do is we would just need to comment out our previous code by putting two dashes. Then we're going to go down and we're going to type in on event. We're going to get rid of this quotation at the start. Because this basically just explains. It's prerequisite um, for the LUA script API. So this is on event, event name, value one, value two. You don't particularly need strum time. This is just for setting different values. So in our value here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to first of all specify the event itself. So you're gonna type if name equals and in brackets or in quotations the name of your specific the name of your LUA file so for us it would be force window then once we do that we're gonna we gotta go ahead and add our text in set property from class open fl dot library dot library application dot window dot full screen get rid of nil and just set it to false Qu quotate it and the if statement now if this breaks it's more than likely because it's class's event name but from my programming experience, um, it should just literally be event name, or rather name when you're programming. So we're going to go ahead, open up Psych Engine, as we do. We're going to load into Freeplay. We're going to load into Paranoia. Three. We're going to immediately load into the chart editor like this. And now that we've changed it, We're gonna go about we're gonna go about five seconds and then we're gonna place our event at the five second mark. So we're gonna go force window. Put it here. Like that. This should work or it might not. Only one way to really find out. So we're just gonna go ahead and full screen so we can play through the start of the song. Three, two, one. So as you can see, it starts as a full screen. Okay, so that obviously doesn't work. So we've got to go ahead and see what is causing this error. 
Okay guys, I am back and I can say I have fixed it. So, I don't know what exactly it was I had to fix, but just to stay on the safe side, make sure you type in if event name equals your event then. And also make sure to sp put a space after the comma. I think that was the what was pulling up the error. But now if we go in again, we're going to go in to our song. We're going to full screen. We're going to go into here. We're going to find our timing on the chart. So let me remove the original. So we're going to go down to five seconds like we did before. Um, we're going to place our event here and just select the event. The values do absolutely nothing because we didn't code in any values. Now, these these values could prove some use in other window situation kind of stuff, but that's not what we're using it for. So we're going to go ahead and press enter and load into the game. Three, two, one, go! Uh, once the timer hits five seconds, they'll force us into a window, as you can see. Alright. Now, that was really cool. Um, I hope you n enjoy this and people that are not good at hex coding can now use this specific code to help them out with their mods. Um, I might do some research and the next video will, I, will I, the next video I'll put up a poll after I've been practicing, um, letting you guys decide what you what coding video you would like to see next. Um, if this video gets 20 likes, 20 to 30 likes, um, I'll continue doing coding videos since you guys seem to enjoy that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Astronomical, out.